All right, and it's daytime again. Not that you notice very much difference. All right. So I think I let me just go back. Let me go back. So we're got ourselves two stacks of wood, which is good. Those dogs are distracted. Two stacks of wood. All right. Let me just check how much cobblestone I have, and then I'll decide what to do next. So either mining or we start building the boundary wall between uh, the, the peninsula and the mainland. Probably need to go mining, in which case I need to figure out where the lava is and where to mine efficiently. Uh, let me just grab my carrots. And let me uh, put this stuff back. Let me eat some carrots. Let me harvest more carrots. Alright, good. How much cobblestone do you think I'll need? Well, definitely more than that. We have one, two, three, four and a half stacks of cobblestone. Maybe I can just mark out where the wall's gonna be with what I have right now. Alright, so let me just mark this out. I do want to take a break pretty soon. So let's say that the wall is going to follow the contours one block above the water, wherever that is, right? So it's gonna like be there. But that's only like two high, so it only needs to be three and then an overhang. Uh, okay, the torches are gonna be a little bit awkward. Let me just grab some torches. We might need to torch a bit more at some point. Ah, uh, torches. In fact, just the two block high wall will be enough to stop most enemies, like all enemies except the spider, right? So if we follow the natural contour, we end up with something like that, although this means we want to put... Well, I guess that's the outside now, so we don't really care about what happens on the outside anymore. Let me just put a torch there just in case. Um, this I will smooth out just a little bit. I should probably put more torches there, alright. And then there, like that. So basically the idea is we take the, the natural contour of the land and we fortify it, right? And I guess we'll like have something in front of it, like a, a foot, or like a foundation in front of it. So even this really is going to stop a lot of the problems. Only spiders will be a problem once we have this sorted. So even just putting one block like this will stop, yeah, everything. Pretty much everything. And then there'll be three, and then in the interior we'll just flatten that out. So it'll be like a terrace. So, uh, yeah, so this area will be... So the area in front of the river will be raised up. Like a terrace. And 
and I guess I'm not too concerned about how it looks from the outside. I mean, I'm a little bit concerned, but we're going to be mostly on the inside, so I'm not that concerned about how the outside looks. Put that there, put that there. Uh, put that there. Well, here, I should probably chop down this tree, is what I should do. Chop down these two trees. Whoa, whoa, spiders and skeletons, holy crap, it's night time. I just walked, I just walked into the mainland at night. <laughs> at night, in the rain. <laughs> You know, you get used to being safe, and then you're not safe. <laughs> you get used to your tortures, and you're like, hey, look how safe this is. And then you're not safe. Scary. Alright, let's, let's sleep. <laughs> let's sleep through this. Alright, and let's not, let's not do that again. <laughs> I love this. It's creepers. Well, I mean soon, soon we'll get to a point where we can do that. Let me just punch those trees down. Hopefully there's no more skeletons hiding. There are spiders though. But they are... peaceful during the day, kind of. Maybe I need string. Maybe I should kill the spider for the string. Are there zombies? No. Alright, let me just slowly punch these trees. Without a care in the world, <laughs> because everything is safe, right? <laughs> I can I can probably get creepered if I'm not careful. Uh, let's try not to get creepered. Not a care in the world. Just casually punching trees. Alright, so that's like one, two, three, four. So you know that's far enough away. That spiders can't jump over. From there at least. Yeah, except there's a spider right there. Chilling. Um we needed more torches there now. Ah, uh, let's flatten this out. Put that there, put that there. Pick that up. Oops. Put that there, put that there. So we started off with two and a half stacks of stone. So I guess after we're done with this first layer, we can estimate how much more stone we're gonna need to do this, to do the rest of this. And again, this is only the... Uh, like, this is not the final version, it's just the, the cobble version. I'm gonna have to double check the uh, the torches after we're done. Well, this tree is gonna have to go. So we get to here. We're gonna have to wall off all the way to that point, I think. Although. We might actually wall off there, because we're going to bridge across, and then maybe wall off there, and then light that, in which case that's going to be safe. Anyway, let's just have a double layer. Let's just be a double safe. By like coming through here like this. Hey, chicken. Uh, we might need that there. 
this tree is gonna have to go. So it's a pretty big wall, isn't it? It's going to be rather large. So, oh look, more sugarcane. Let me just harvest the sugarcane while I'm here. Alright, so this will come around to like there and then stop. Right? Right. So there you go, so it's gonna look like that. Well, it's gonna be one more block and then an overhang. At the very least. I think I think we should make it keep it small. As I said, I don't want this to be intimidating. I just want it to be I want it to be safe. I don't want it to be intimidating. So it'll be like the minimum safe height. So it'll be like three blocks and an overhang. So the whole thing will be four blocks tall. So it'll be a bit of a cliff. But not like a giant fortress, you know what I mean? So uh, we, we're not building a giant fortress, we're just building a... A wall that's enough to keep out the zombies and creepers and spiders. It's kind of hard to see it, I'm checking the, the torches right now. If you're wondering what I'm doing. So like here, we need a torch. Not, again, not in the matters too much. Like the outside doesn't really matter too much. I should probably check the inside. That's more urgent. Kind of make sure that uh, the inside is lit. But the outside, like that's already gonna stop zombies. All right, so I think the outside is pretty good, and that ends like there. All right. So let me just check the inside. I mean, that seems good. That's uh, probably good, I don't even know. But like, all of this is going to be filled in later, right? It's, like, there'll be four, so it's two more blocks up, and then in between, it'll be just filled in. It'll be just solid. So it'll be like a solid terrace. I... ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Well, if we get stuck outside, we also have to go all the way around to get back in. <laughs> Maybe I should think about this. So we used a little over two and a half stacks for one layer. So for the whole thing, I'm guessing we need two, four, six, eight, like, just to be safe, we need like 10 stacks of cobblestone. Just to, uh, be sure that we have enough. So I guess, okay, so I'm gonna take a break after I check the boundary again. I probably don't need to check it, to be honest. I want to just look at it from the outside, and now I take a break. And then when we come back, we go we go mining. Okay. We go mining until we get about ten stacks of cobblestone, and then we build the terrace. That's not a cave. So I think this is all sufficiently lit, and I have kind of checked this. So there's like a torch back there. All right, let's just go go to the mainland and look at it from the mainland and imagine it being two blocks higher except on the top block it'll be an overhang as well so then there'll be like a a small terrace it'll be like a really small castle 
it's like it's gonna be it'll be like a castle, but it's so small that you don't really think it's a you don't really take it seriously. It's just a little castle, right? So it'll be like a, a deep dish pizza. <laughs> it's what it's gonna be like. So it's gonna be like a a thick crust, and then the inside, the island. That's the pizza. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's an interesting metaphor. But you know, it'd be like a, a quiche <laughs> or a cake. Like you'll have like tall edges and yeah, it will it'll be like a cake, I suppose. <laughs> yes. Exactly like a cake. Uh and then we need to bridge over, alright. So I guess I'm not coming out of the island until I Get the get the wall done, and I build the bridge. Oh, dogs! Oh no, I should probably push the dogs push the dogs back into the other side. Can I like push you back inside? Okay, good, good. Go inside. Thanks. Wait, where did I drop the? Did I pick up the cobblestone? So we don't want the dogs to be outside. Oh, what are you doing, dog? Dog? No, don't don't go in the water. Never mind. Fine, go in the water. Steve, I can. Uh, it's almost night time. Let me just come back here. So from the mainland... Yeah, it'll just be like a... Isn't that interesting? So instead of just having a coast and like a smooth transition, there'll be like a, a really small boundary. It, it's like a lip... Yeah, it's like a plate. It's really like a plate. And like the whole peninsula is on a plate. A bit like a pizza. You can already see it. It's a bit like a pizza. That's interesting, right? It's like a... A city on a plate. How interesting. Alright, it's night time. Let me just get back inside. And we'll prepare some pickaxes for some serious mining when we come back. Cool. Hey. I mean, all we've done is put lights on the island. It already looks so much better. Look how drab and dark and Boring, that looks. And look at this, light. Light in the night. How wonderful and brilliant the lights are. Oh, wait, 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 sugar cane. Alright, let's get this farm going. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is a little bit ugly, but we need to get a paper farm going. Alright, so this is the last of my cobblestone. Crazy. Oak wood. I also don't have very much wood left. How many sticks can I get out of this? Four. Alright, I need more than that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, do that. Do that. We don't need cobblestone anymore. Alright, so we need oh, we need more torches, don't we? I don't want to be stuck down there with no lights. I'm gonna need a lot of torches actually. Uh, eight. Sixteen, okay. And then I'm gonna use our coal for these torches. Oh, we don't have much coal left either. So, what else do we need? Oh, food, torches. Pickaxes. I think that's all we need. I think that's all we need to go mining. Let me just grab more carrots. Although I do have carrots in the storage. Alright, grab a few more carrots. In fact, let me just grab a lot more carrots. There you go. Alright, so when we come back in the next video, we're going down there and we're going to go mining. 
I guess I'll go down to just above the lava and we'll go mining, see if we can pick up some nice minerals. Oh, we need we need an iron pickaxe to get any valuables, don't we? Because um, we need an iron pickaxe for gold diamond, right? Is that right? I, I'll, I'll look it up. I can't even remember. How do you play Minecraft again? I don't know how to play Minecraft. Alright, so we get that. Iron pickaxe, try not to swim in lava. Alright, I'll see you all in the next video where we go mining, mostly for cobblestone, but any valuables we find we will take. I'll see you there.